Hello gorgeous, today I am sharing my updated period hygiene routine and I'm also just going to be sharing hacks, tips and tricks for that time of the month. So make sure you guys are subscribed. I do post every single Tuesday and Thursday and I also have a Patreon which I will link down below where I upload an extra two videos every single month. So with that being said, let's just get into the routine. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is sanitary products. This is really crucial and essential to keep up with, of course, during that time of the month. You want to make sure that you are changing your sanitary method every four to six hours. If not, this can lead to irritation, rashes, or infections. And on top of it, regularly changing will prevent bacteria growing on the blood, which can create a bad odor and leave you prone to infections. It's really going to stop the growth of organisms and once again, prevent those infections. Another thing when it comes to your sanitary method, whether you're using pads, tampons, or even a menstrual cup, is to make sure that you have different absorbency levels. So both pads and tampons come with different absorbency levels, some that have a lower and higher absorbency level. And this is really important because your cycle is different every single day. Some days are heavier than others, and near the end of the period, for example, it starts to get lighter. So you wanna make sure that you have a pad or tampon that is for that specific day because you're not going to need the same absorbency level from the beginning of your period. But it's important in the end of the day that you are always changing your menstrual tools and you are keeping up with that because it is super unhygienic if you are keeping your tools on for too, too long. Sticking with sanitary products, another thing that you wanna make sure you're always doing is disposing used sanitary products properly. So when it comes to a pad, I just prefer to roll up a used pad and enclose it in the wrapper of the new pad that you're going to put on and just throw it away. That way you can of course use toilet paper, but to save with the toilet paper, I just prefer using the wrapper from the next pad that I am going to use. And when it comes to tampons, wrapping that in toilet paper is enough. It's important to do that before before throwing it into the garbage. Of course, do not put it into the toilet because you are just going to clog the toilet and it's not meant to be put there. So making sure you put it into the garbage and this is really going to minimize the smell and also prevent the spread of bacteria, which can actually build up over time. Whenever switching your menstrual tools, I always wash my hands before and after changing. This is super essential to make sure you avoid transmitting any bacteria on on the hygiene product to your body via your hands. So it's important to wash your hands after changing your menstrual product, but it's also important to wash your hands before you change your menstrual products because dirty hands can introduce harmful bacteria down there. So it's super important to keep up with your hand hygiene and keep up with washing your hands before and after you change your tools. When it comes to my hygiene routine for that time of the month, I also like to focus on my skin and give myself a little bit of self-care and just do a mud mask. I love mud masks for breakouts and I always tend to break out right before that time of the month. As you can see, I have a few pesky pimples and this mask just really helps clear up my skin. I will link it down below, but it is my favorite mud mask to go for when I want to get out all of the dirt bacteria from my skin and help reduce pimples that may have popped up because of that time of the month. And and I'll just let that sit until it is completely dried before I go ahead and rinse it off with warm water. And of course, when applying it, I always make sure to avoid the eyes. After removing the face mask, especially when I use a mud mask, I always make sure to follow up with a moisturizer to just bring that moisture back in so your skin doesn't feel stripped. And I'll also just use this mud mask even before I'm getting my time of the month, so even a week or so before, just to make sure that you have some preventative measures to make the breakouts as little as possible. 
Next, I always make sure to change my sheets regularly, definitely on a weekly basis. And a little tip or hack if you do have an accident overnight and you leak onto your bed, make sure to avoid hot water as it doesn't work to remove any blood stains. Instead, wash a fresh stain with some cold water using regular cream-free soap, and it should really help fade the stain if you catch it on time and have a fresh stain. But I always just like to keep up with cleaning my sheets and also cleaning and changing my towels frequently. This is super important and crucial for sanitary reasons to make sure you are changing your towels, especially during that time of the month. So I am always switching my towels out every single time, making sure to wash them regularly. Of course, the bacteria can grow and stick onto the towel and it's just very unsanitary and dirty to keep reusing the same towel over and over again and that is going to lead me into the shower routine I do a couple things different when it comes to that time of the month the number one tip of course is to shower daily and just make sure you're keeping up with down there and rinsing it off with taking a shower on the daily I always put on my shower cap because Although I like to wash my body daily, I do not like to wash my hair every single time I jump in the shower. It is super stripping on the hair if you're constantly washing it, and it just leads my scalp to be more irritated, more dry. So I always make sure to put on that shower cap and just go ahead and do a body wash. So that's what I'm gonna share with you what I use when it comes to the body and nothing really to my hair. Of course, if you guys wanna see a shower routine that shares what I do with my hair, I will link that above for you guys. But once I have my shower cap on, I of course step into the shower and I'm going to share with you all of my go-to products. Of course, when taking a shower, make sure that you use warm water. Hot water may provoke heavier bleeding. So I always like to shower with warm water and something that I do is take lavender oil and I just put it onto the floor of my shower. This is just super key. It is so relaxing. You can really smell it when you're in your shower and it's just super calming and it just makes you de-stress. I totally recommend trying this out. It makes such a big difference. And I typically include the lavender oil more in my evening showers just because it makes me feel, like I said, more relaxed and just more sleepy and ready to go to bed. Moving on to my actual soap. So when it comes to washing your body and especially washing down there, you want to avoid scented products that are advertised for your girl parts or even sprays because they are really not necessary. The chemicals are just not good for down there and can irritate that area you want to remember not to forget that down there it is a self-cleaning organ so you don't need to go all crazy and use all these crazy products that are geared towards that these products can end up disrupting the natural bacteria and pH balance and in turn lead to infection I always make sure to use a basic bar of soap that is for sensitive skin and unscented when you are washing down there you always want to wash from the front to back it is more hygienic and to avoid any bacteria from transferring also I like to just stand in the shower and have it point onto my back and also turn around and have it point onto my abdomen so my stomach and just let the warm water hit it and that's really just going to help soothe any cramps that you have and just make you feel a lot better that is my entire hygiene routine I will link down below my period playlist I have a ton more period related content in there so definitely go check it out subscribe and join the youtube family i post every single tuesday and thursday and like i said on my patreon and anything i did mention in this video will be linked down below as always catch you guys in my next video bye